Good morning, friends, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi, friends. Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Um, it is currently 10.05 this morning. I thought I would do a little day in my life kind of video again with another grocery haul, but this one is going to be Sprouts edition. So I'm very excited to go to Sprouts. I love Sprouts. But anyways, <clears throat> this morning I kind of already did my morning routine of waking up, journaling, having breakfast, did a little yoga, did a little movement that felt good to me today. And then I got ready and here we are. I am about to head to Sprouts to pick up some fun things. I love going to Sprouts just, just to see like all their new products and stuff. Um, so I'm super excited to try some new things out. And yeah, I'll take you guys along with me, do a little grocery haul again, then show you what I get up to for the rest of the day. Um, today is a day off from work, which is typically when I do these days in my life. I have like a part-time job at a smoothie and juice bar, uh, clean juice, and I work there two days a week. And then the other days I'm focusing on like creating content and um, doing my health coaching. So I see my clients and all that jazz, working on building my business. Um, so yeah. That's what today is. It's a chill day. I love these days. They're super chill and I get to just focus on building the life of my dreams and um, taking it easy and doing things that make me happy and fill up my soul. So I'm super excited to bring you guys along with me today, show you what I get up to. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys at Sprouts. All right, guys. Hello. Welcome back. Um, I just got back from Sprouts. I will do a haul later. Got my Erewhon bag. I miss everyone. I miss LA. I'll be back soon. Don't worry. Anyways, um, I got another Olipop flavor to try. I thought it would be fun to do another one. Maybe. Maybe this isn't fun at all. But I thought it'd be fun to try another flavor since I tried one last time. Last time I tried like the strawberry vanilla one and I heard lots of good things about that one. I wasn't impressed. It just wasn't very flavorful. But this time, I thought this one sounded good. It's orange squeeze. So... Let's give her a go. This one's much better. It's still a kind of mild flavor, but the orange... Mm -hmm. The orange is a lot more flavorful. Yes, I would love that. I love that one. I'll give this one like a... 9 out of 10. It's pretty dang good. So, go get yourself the orange one. Also, the root beer one is really good if you like root beer, so. Anyways, last time I gave you guys a little disclaimer about my flaky sunburn hair, which is still a thing, but it's a lot better now. But this time I'm giving you a disclaimer about this pimple. Um, it actually wasn't that bad, but I made the mistake of popping it and it bruised. So now it looks like twice the size of what it actually is, but it's fine. We're keeping it real here. Pimples happen, breakouts happen. Like my skin isn't perfect. No one's skin is perfect. So give yourself some grace if you're struggling with some pimples. Um, it's life. Cheers to life, guys. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys in a second for the grocery haul. Hello guys, I'm back with another grocery store haul. This one is Sprouts Edition, love Sprouts. It's so much fun, they have so many fun products and I got some new products that I'm super excited to try. So, here's a little haul for you guys. First up, I got some decaf coffee pods. Um, I'm a decaf girl, I think I mentioned that in the last video. Caffeine really messes me up, messes with my anxiety. I used to be, okay, little story time, I used to be the biggest caffeine drinker, like I would have three to four black coffees a day. I was like, but this was also in the really, bad time my eating disorder so I drink it for the wrong reasons but I used to love caffeine and I used to be fine with it but then when I got to like this really low place in my health with my eating disorder um and my anxiety was like at an all-time high it's like anytime I would drink caffeine it would just send me into straight into an anxiety tag like one drink I was just right into an anxiety tag and um it would lead to like dissociation derealization where I like not feel like I was in my body, all this crazy stuff. So I cut out caffeine. I really didn't have a choice. Um, but honestly, it turned out being one of the best decisions for my health and for my recovery. I think it really helped with my hormones and it helped me like, 
you know, I didn't use it as a meal replacement. So yeah, I cut out caffeine, not completely because I still love dark chocolate and decaf still has a little caffeine and sometimes I'll have like a matcha or something. And I'm at this point now where I'm, my body's back in a healthy place. So I feel like I can kind of add it in a little more now and be okay with it. But I never, honestly, I never really want to get back to the place where I'm like drinking it every day and like dependent on the caffeine because I like kind of being free from that. So anyways, long story short, I got some decaf coffee pods. Then I got my favorite chocolate. This is the JoJo's um, Ghost Hawaiian chocolate. This is my favorite flavor of theirs. So good, so good. If you have not tried JoJo's chocolate, you need to. They also, their peanut butter one is incredible as well. So love this. I also have a discount, discount code for JoJo. So I will leave it below. Um, so good. Next, I got these Siete Kettle Cook Chips. So these are new. The Kettle Cook style chips are new. And I haven't tried them yet. And so I wanted to give them a try. So I got those. And then another Siete product that is new that I have not tried are their Mexican shortbread cookies, which I'm super stoked about. I've heard lots of people rave about these, so I'm very excited to try these. I got those. And then I got some of my favorite sourdough bread. I love this brand. Super good. I, sourdough's the best for avocado toast. You can't change my mind about that. It's the best for avocado toast. So love having, having a loaf of that. Then I got some tea. This is stomach ease tea. I love having a cup of tea in the evenings with a little splash of soy milk before bed. It's so good. Next, I got some of my favorite cereal. This is the Three Wishes um, cocoa cereal. This cereal and then the One Degree Organics sprouted rice cacao crisps. It's my two favorite cereals, so love them both. Um, next, I got some more oats. Always got to pick up oats when I'm at the store because I run out like that because I use them in like all my baked goods and then also oatmeal almost every day. So always pick up oats when I'm at the store. Um, next, I got some more bands up pasta. This is one of my favorite pastas. I love like chickpea and bean pastas because um, they're so much more satiating to me. Don't get me wrong. I love a good white pasta, but this one is just like everyday kind of cooking. I just feel so much more satiated after this. So I love it. It's very high in protein, which is why it's a little more satiating. Um, but I got this new, I got the rigatoni style, which I have not tried yet. So excited to try this one. Next up, I got some canned coconut milk. Um, I love using this in curries and soups just to make it a little creamier, a little coconutty. Love canned coconut milk. And then last but not least, I got some Hillary's products. I am actually collabing with Hillary's for an Instagram post soon. So I'm lucky enough that they sent me some coupons to get some products. So I'll show you what I got. I'm super excited to try them out. Um, first up, I got their super cauliflower veggie burgers. And next I got their Fiesta black bean veggie burgers. And I got their original world's best veggie burgers. Excuse Chloe barking. And next I got the Southwest Azuki bean veggie burgers. And last but not least, I got some of their maple, apple maple breakfast sausage. So I love Hillary's products, honestly. Um, they're very like minimal whole food ingredients, which we love and super tasty. Yeah, that's my little grocery haul from Sprouts. Got some fun stuff that I'm super excited to try. Um, actually, I think I'm about to do a little taste test with the Siete cookies. So give me one second. Okay, wanted to change locations for the better lighting. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give these Siete Mexican shortbread cookies a try for you guys. Do a little taste test with these. I've heard so many good things about these, so I'm very excited to try them. I don't even know what a Mexican shortbread cookie is, to be honest, but I'm excited to give it a try. So, it's what they look like. They smell good. Ooh. 
Ooh. Okay. This is bomb. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10. I would recommend these. They're cinnamony. It's like shortbread cookie with cinnamon. It's like you take a sopapilla. If you've ever had a sopapilla. It's like tortilla with cinnamon and sugar. You take that. And you take a shortbread cookie. And you put it together. That's what these are. They're incredible. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I might eat this whole bag right now. Um, so good. On that note, I'm about to make some avocado toast because it sounds good. And I'm gonna make some with my new sourdough bread, my favorite bread to make avocado toast with. So I'm gonna put these groceries away and then I will show you guys how I make my avocado toast. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how I make my avocado toast. Um, I've got the toast in the toaster and I'm about to show you how I make the avocado part. So we're gonna start off with a bowl and your avocado. Um, just gonna squish this into the bowl like so. I'm gonna mash it around a little bit. And then I don't like mine too mashed. I like it to be a little chunky. So inside, I'm gonna add in a little squeeze of lemon. This just takes it to the next level. And then I add a pinch of salt. Now I just add a little garlic powder or a lot. And then I just kind of mix all that together without really mashing it much more, like so. Have it in a guac bowl, appropriate. That's it. And now I'm just gonna put this on my toast and then add some everything but the bagel seasoning. Okay, so my toast just popped out of the oven. I'm gonna top this big one with avocado and then this one with a little hummus. So take my toast. I just pop on the avocado. I like mine to be thick and chunky, just like this. And the finishing touch, a little everything but the bagel seasoning. Perfection, isn't she beautiful? She's beautiful. You literally can't go wrong with this, guys. The best. On this little baby piece, I'm gonna add on some eggplant hummus from Trader Joe's. If you follow me on Instagram, you know my obsession with this is real. Hold on. This just proves how real the obsession is. I always have at least three to four on hand. <laughs> I have literally eaten an entire container in one day before. So yeah, that's that. It's the best hummus I've ever tried in my life. Ooh, just dropped it. I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. Yeah, I'm just gonna add this to my other piece of toast. So I just take a big scoop of it, add it on. A little everything about the bagel seasoning to this as well. Got a little snack here. One toast with avocado and everything about the bagel seasoning and the other one with eggplant hummus. So one of my favorite snacks to have, an avocado toast and a hummus toast. Sometimes I'll combine the two and put some hummus on my avocado toast. Sometimes when I'm feeling like really fancy, I'll add balsamic glazed mushrooms on top of my avocado or hummus toast or avocado hummus toast. So good. So it kind of just depends on the day, what I'm feeling, how much time I want to put into it, how much energy I want to put into it. But this is what we got today and I'm super excited. So I'm going to go eat this now and I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay. I'm back with another little chat for you guys today. Um, want to make these realness chats a regular thing on my channel because it's super important to me. Oh, this, this stool is so squeaky. This is not going to work. Let's see if this one's better. Much better. Okay. Anyways, um, sorry about the squeakiness. But today, I just wanted to chat a little bit about perfection because that is something that your girl has struggled with her entire life. Hardcore. So I grew up as a ballet dancer very seriously. And if you're a ballet dancer, you've ever been a ballet dancer, you know that perfection is literally ingrained into our minds. Like you can never be good enough in ballet. You're always striving for this level of perfection that simply doesn't exist. Like you could go up to one of the most well-known professional dancers in the world and they would still not think they're good enough because there's 
always something you can be working towards. That's just how it is in ballet. Like you're never good enough. Your teachers, you literally grow up with your, te with your teachers telling you that it's never going to be good enough. You can always work harder. Your leg can always be higher. Your feet can always be more pointed. Like you can always improve. And that's just how it is in ballet. So I grew up with that like ingrained in my mind. And I already had these perfectionist OCD tendencies. So this just led to like a bad case of perfectionism. And um, of course this played a huge role in my eating disorder, but it also played a huge role in just how I presented myself, how I lived my life. And um, I grew up like super, super shy, like so shy, I would, wouldn't talk to anyone. Like as I got older, I just became such a shell because I was so scared of like not being viewed as perfect or like being viewed as having flaws and like just fear of judgment. I've been just, I've lived my whole life in just a shell of being feared of being judged. And something beautiful that has happened through my eating disorder recovery since I've like really healed my relationship with myself and internally, like I've found such a peace with who I am, which is why like this YouTube channel is finally a thing, like why I finally had the guts to post videos. And the last video I posted, like I was a little, I almost didn't post it because the way I looked and then like the flakes in my hair that I talked about for my sunburn. And then like when I ended up exporting the video and like downloading it to my computer, my computer ran out of space. So it was super blurry and the quality wasn't good. So I was like, I can't post this, the quality isn't good. But then I was like, you know what? That's my perfection getting in the way. I'm just gonna put this out there. It's my first video. You gotta start from somewhere. Um, so that's what I'm here to talk to you about today is like perfection. You can't let it hold you back. You can't let it keep you from doing what you wanna do. Since I've healed my relationship with myself and since I found such a peace with who I am and who God made me to be, like I just have this whole new outlook on life and I'm just like, hello, here's me. Here's my flaky hair. Here's my giant zit. Like, this is what you're gonna get. And um, it's such a beautiful thing when you learn the power of vulnerability. Like since I've had my Instagram account, Gabacado, and since I've been opening up and really sharing and getting vulnerable on there, I found so much beauty and vulnerability. Like it's crazy. And it feels like it's just, it welcomes so much freedom when you're able to be vulnerable and to share your struggles with other people. It like gives other people the strength to then be vulnerable and it's just like this ripple effect and it just creates the most beautiful connections like I can't tell you the second I started opening up and being vulnerable and like releasing perfection I have welcomed the most beautiful relationships into my life like my friendships and my relationships and like even the relationships I had before have just become so genuine and so beautiful and perfection is overrated like you don't want to be perfect like it's been crazy since, you know, especially in the modeling industry, I was just trying so hard to be perfect and trying so hard to put out this perfect image and um, had to be the perfect size, the perfect measurements, you know, everything that my agents wanted me to be, I just had to be perfect. And I drove myself insane trying to be perfect. And I kept myself so isolated trying to be perfect. And I was the most unhappiest I've ever been just because I was trying to be perfect. And that is not a life you want to live. I can tell you that. I've never been more unhappy, more anxiety filled, more unhealthy in my entire life than I was when I was just trying to be perfect. And since I've let go of that and since I've just welcomed like my flaws and embraced my flaws and welcomed vulnerability, my life has become so much more beautiful and all the connections in my life have become so much more beautiful and I just feel so free so free of pressure, so free of judgment, just so free to be me. And it's so beautiful. So I guess what I'm trying to say is like, we all have flaws and those flaws are what make us us. And those are what make us unique. And those are what connect us to each other. And that's a beautiful thing. So if you're struggling with perfection, just know you are not alone. So many people struggle with perfection, especially in our society these days when all you see are like these perfectly edited photos on Instagram and all the controlled online content. Um, perfection is like running rampant in our society, but it's so overrated. And I encourage you to just put yourself out there and just be you because 
life is so much more beautiful. I can't stress that enough. Like life is so beautiful when you just let go of perfection and you just allow yourself to make mistakes. You allow yourself to learn, to grow, to be you, to show your flaws and all of that. It's just, it's such a beautiful thing. So if you're struggling with perfection, I feel you. I get it. I've been there. But that's not the life you want to live. So work on letting that go. Um, gratitude is something that helps me so much with that. It's like, especially like when accepting my body and the flaws in my body, like I think, oh, I have this zit on my face, but how lucky am I to have healthy skin and for that to be the only like giant zit on my face, you know? Or like, oh, I don't really like the way my stomach looks. Like I'm not very toned anymore. And then to just replace that with, but you know what? My body's healthy and functioning and my stomach protects so many vital organs and my hormones are working properly now. Like what a blessing that is. And just like switching these thoughts of these unhealthy kind of self-deprecating thoughts into thoughts of gratitude for what your body and like what these things can do for you. It's an incredible thing. So I encourage you to do that if you're struggling with perfection. Um, yeah, that's my little rant about perfection. It's overrated. It's stupid. Um, <laughs> it's unattainable. You're just gonna live your whole life never feeling good enough if you are constantly chasing perfection. So just don't do it. Don't let it waste your time. Don't let it steal your joy. Don't let it steal your life. Don't let it steal you. Um, you were created for so much more than that. So yeah, I think I am about to go on a little walk because I'm feeling like going on a little walk. I feel like I have so much energy. I just want to get out and listen to a podcast. I love walks on a podcast. They've been so healing for me. So I'm going to go do that. It finally stopped raining outside. Um, so I'm going to go do that now, and I will catch up with you guys after my walk. Hello, friends. Welcome back. Um, it's a few days later. I totally forgot I was filming. This YouTube thing is already off to a great start. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for being you. I'm so grateful for you. I'm going to close out this video here. Um, let me know if you enjoyed. Leave any suggestions you have below. Like this video, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more, turn on the notifications if you want, all that YouTube stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm super grateful for you guys. You are incredible. And I hope you have a beautiful day. See you next time.